Hello there, divers. I'm so glad to be back with you at VBS. Today, we're going to dive in and learn about choosing to follow Jesus. Do you remember our scripture verse from yesterday that diver Jed read? It was um, John 3, 16, remember? For God so loved the world, read it with me, that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him won't perish but will have eternal life. Today our scripture verse is about serving God and it's from Joshua 24, 15. Diver Sarah is going to read it to you. Let's listen. Hi divers, good to be with you. I wanted to share Joshua 24, 15. Then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Isn't that great? Bye-bye divers. Thanks, Sarah. Wow. Can you all say that scripture with me? Joshua 24, 15. Choose today whom you will serve, but my family and I will serve the Lord. Good job, guys. We are doing a great experiment today in the passage, and we have an awesome Bible story for you. It's all about knots. Okay, how many of you get knots in your shoelaces? A well-tied knot is hard to get out, especially if your mom tied it. Now, if you have claws, you can work those knots out a whole lot easier. And talking about claws, I think I hear Krabby. Hey, divers. I'm back. MJ, what's the lesson? What's the Bible lesson tonight? Oh, well, you see this net? Tonight's lesson is all about knots. What? That's boring. Oh, it's not boring. What could be more fun than learning to tie knots like sheet bends, monkey paws, half and double hitches? Seriously, what could be more fun than that? Oh, I can think of a few things like maybe math, homework, watching paint dry, losing a claw. Oh, Krabby. Now those things really are boring. You know, knots are very important. They keep things connected, just like how we want to be connected to the stuff that's really important in our lives. Like what? Well, we want to be connected to our family, our friends, and all the things we love. And most importantly, we want to be connected to Jesus so we can know how to make the right choices. Wow, it looks like we're going deeper than ever today. That's right, Krabby. Today we're learning how to choose to follow. And Krabby, I was wondering, did you by any chance change your mind and decide to learn about tying knots with me? Not a chance, MJ. No. Well, divers, Time for us to dive into a song with Miss Lila. Let's go! It's our second day for our BBS. Today we're gonna learn a song I'm gonna choose. Who gonna whom you gonna choose? I'm gonna choose Jesus. In our song, you can dance and do the action with us. But sometimes it's complicated, so I'm gonna teach you the action that we can do together during the chorus part. Okay, first part is I'm gonna choose you point your thumb to yourself, and then I'm gonna follow. You have your, to raise your hands like this, and then forevermore, point number one, make a circle, and do like this. It's hard, it's supposed to be like that, and then I'll serve the Lord. And then I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna follow. I say it once more. I'll serve the Lord. So those are the actions that we need to do together during the chorus part. Okay? Let's sing the song. Stop now. Look round and round you're going. You feel like you're not knowing. Where you really had it to 
inside Your head is kinda busy The choices make you dizzy Who you gonna listen to? Shh Hear the spirit now Call you Time to shout it out I'm gonna choose I'm gonna follow Out in everything you're doing, the choices that you're choosing, when it's hard to stop and pray. Watch how life becomes amazing, you're overcome with praises in everything you do and say. Shh, hear the spirit now call you. Time to shout it out. I'm gonna choose. Welcome back for a game. Wow, that music, that just made me so happy. I know that God heard you singing. Thanks, Miss Lila. Okay, so our game today, you might say this is really simple, but I'm tricky, so watch it. It's going to be Simon Says. Have you played that before? When I say, Simon says, march, you do the action, you march. But if I say, tap your nose, no, you don't do it. It didn't have Simon says. So are you ready? Let me see what you have. Here we go. Simon says, tap your nose. Simon says, tap your chin. Simon says, pull your ear. And do this, this funny face. Oop, no, Simon didn't say that. Go back to tapping your chin. Simon says, do your arms in circles. Do your arms backward circles. And now I want you just to do your right arm in a circle. No! Only if Simon says, and he didn't. Okay, Simon says, tap your right foot. And snap your fingers. No, I hope you didn't do it because Simon said to tap your foot. Now Simon says, snap your fingers. Snap, snap, snap. You should be singing a song now. And Simon says to twiddle your thumbs. Twiddle, twiddle, twiddle. And now I want you to do Reach for the stars, reach for the star. Oops, no, Simon wants you to twiddle, not reach for the stars. Are you getting it? Let's march. No, <laughs> I told you I was tricky. Maybe your moms will carry on the game with you and you can see how tricky they are. It's been so nice to be with you. I have really loved, loved all of our activities. 
And I hope I didn't trick you too much, but we will have another great game tomorrow. Before um, you hear your Bible story, I want to see if you remember our Bible verse for today. Remember diver Sarah read it to us. What was it? It was from Proverbs. I remember that. Proverbs 3, 5. Say it with me. Choose today whom you will serve. But my family and I will serve the Lord. Amen to that. All right, divers, I want you to get all comfy and cozy. Maybe get a pillow, get your blankie, and let's listen to the Bible story told to us by Peter. Hey, friends. Don't mind me. I'm just resting after a long night at sea. I'm a fisherman, and that can be really tough. One time, my friends and I fished all night without a single catch. When we got to shore, a man named Jesus came and told us to go back out and throw out our nets again. I was tired, but I had a feeling that this guy knew what he was talking about. So we went back out, dropped our nets, and began waiting. We didn't wait for long. Pretty soon, our nets were so full of fish that I had to ask my friend to help. It was amazing! We had more fish than we knew what to do with. Our boats couldn't hold them all. I looked over to Jesus, the one who caused this miracle. Suddenly I felt very small, like I didn't even deserve to be in this man's presence. I knelt down before him and said to him, Lord, you should leave me. I am not good enough to be with you. I don't deserve this. Jesus just smiled, put his hand on my shoulder and said, Don't be afraid. I'm going to teach you to fish for people. Follow me. Right then we made the choice to drop everything and follow Jesus. We became his special followers called disciples. It was the best choice we ever made. Jesus was changing the way people thought. He taught us about loving everyone, even people who many thought shouldn't be allowed in the church. He healed people who were sick or hurt and performed many miracles. He ate dinner and talked with people whom others thought he shouldn't be with. The people in power didn't like this at all. They told him to stop, but he didn't. So they found a way to excuse him of crimes he did not commit, and they had him killed. For a couple of days they thought that was the end of Jesus, and so did we. That terrified us disciples, but we were wrong. On the third day after Jesus died, God raised him up to live forever. Jesus came back to see us so we would know he was alive and would tell others. We began to tell others that Jesus was alive and would be alive forever. Now I know that Jesus wants everyone to choose to follow him. What do you think we can do to help other people learn how to follow Jesus? Hi again. Today we met some more people who found out just how special Jesus is. Let's try to put ourselves in the place of Peter and his friends. They fished by throwing out a really heavy net. And what did they see in the net? Nothing. Nada. So they threw it out again. And again. And again. Can you imagine how tired they were and how disappointed they must have been? Have you ever fished before? If you have, you probably used a fishing pole and not a very heavy net. Well, after Peter and his friends worked for a whole night without catching any fish, Jesus helped them catch a whole net full of them. Then he asked Peter and his friends to follow him and help do his work. What do you think would be the work that Jesus was asking them to do? Hmm, could it be sharing their faith and love for Jesus to others? Helping others, sharing your faith, being kind, being respectful, appreciating and loving others, even when they're different, and forgiving others, that's the work of Jesus. 
I know that you, most of you already choose to follow Jesus, and you will continue to do so throughout your lifetime. Wow, I'm ready for some science. Are you? I hope you all have it set up at home. Meet Miss Jenny in the passage. I think she's ready to dive in. Woohoo! Woohoo, boys and girls! Welcome back to the passage where we're going to be doing another science experiment. So, this one is all about density. And we actually have not done this one before. So let's talk about your supplies. You're gonna need a clear glass or cup. You're gonna need some honey, some vegetable oil, some water, oh, pony beads, or something like that. Whatever you have around the house. Pony beads, um, a pebble, and then it calls for cork. So I had a little piece of cork that we're gonna try, but I also had a big cork. So you might have the big one at home, I'm not sure. All right, here we go. First, and also make sure you have it on a, a cookie tray or some plastic covering, because I don't want your mommies mad at me. Okay, let's dive in. We're gonna put some honey in the bottom and you're going to fill it up at least an inch worth of honey so if you're using a smaller cup you won't need as much material so we're going to do about an inch of honey the bees will probably be happy that we're using their honey okay does that look like an inch i think that's close enough all right so honey then we're going to pour in enough water to fill an, about a third of a cup. So let's see, a third of a cup. Ooh, the water doesn't like to go through that honey. All right, if you have a measuring cup at home, you can use that if you wanna use precise measurements. So use a third of a cup. Then we're going to pour in enough cooking oil to cover another third. Okay, here we go. What's, ooh, what's gonna happen? Oh, what a concoction. Oh my, all right. Now, we've got our layers, right? We've got honey, water, no, honey, oil, and water, right? Okay, so now what you're gonna do is drop a pebble in the cup and let's see what's going to happen. Oh, sink right down, didn't it? All right, how about we drop the cork in the cup? So I'm gonna use my little piece and then I'm also gonna use my big piece of cork. What's gonna happen with those? All right, those are floating on top of, what did I add last? The oil, that's floating on top. Now what about these pony beads? They have a hole in them. Oh, <gasps> you guys, look. Look what's happening to the pony beads. They're going to the second layer. So we have the honey and the water and then the oil on top. So the pony beads, are sticking almost, they're going down a little bit. So this is all about density. The densest item in the, in the cup is the cork and, oh, I'm sorry, is the rock and it sank right down to the bottom. The least dense item is the cork and of course it's floating on top of the oil. And the pony beads, the most part are floating on top in the middle layer. Wow, very interesting. I love that. Another mess. Um, in, our Bible, in our Bible story today, Peter and his friends chose to go deeper with God by following Jesus and doing what he said to do. And God wants us to have deep faith 
and follow Jesus. And as we keep learning and living this way, our faith gets deeper and deeper and deeper. So we choose to follow. Dive in with Jesus. See you tomorrow. Welcome to session two. I'm so glad that you joined us once again. Just as Miss Jenny was talking about, choosing to follow Jesus, that is what we're focusing on today. And the great way, the best way to do that is also through music. So I will teach you a new song today. It is called Channel of Love. There are no motions in this song, but there is an echo. And Marlou's going to help us out by singing. So you can follow along with her, and you will figure it out. Channel of Love. second day at VBS. Today we learn to choose to follow Jesus. Remember in our Bible story, we learned about Peter and his friends. To everyone else, they look like or ordinary fishermen. But Jesus did something very amazing with their lives. Do you know that Peter and his friends in ended up becoming the leaders of the early church? When they chose to follow Jesus, God took them to places that they could never go on their own. Jesus has plans for each one of you, too. He can help you do amazing things if you will choose to follow him wherever he takes you. And I know all of you, and I know all of you are making that choice. I hope you enjoy your craft for today, and we will be back tomorrow with more great news about Jesus and lots more fun. So Pastor Bob will lead us in prayer now. Bye, divers. I love you. I would like to say a prayer for you. Oh, God, bless this day. Thank you for all these kids who are tuning in, learning and having fun, and playing games and singing with us. And we pray that all the lessons that they are learning, that they can incorporate them in groups. So bless them the rest of today, and bless their families, and their households, and all their friends. And we just pray that you would continue to help them to feel love and peace in this time of being sheltered at home. So bless them in Jesus' name.
Well, tomorrow is our last day and we promise that it will be just as fun as today, if not better. And please uh, get ready to sing a new song. So tomorrow's our last day. So goodbye for now.